The collapsed Dunamis International Gospel Church in Makoldi, the Benue State capital, has continued to attract sympathizers and emergency workers to the scene. The structure collapsed in the early hours of Tuesday, claiming the life of the resident pastor and another person injured. Officials of Benue State Humanitarian and Disaster Management have also visited the scene of the collapsed church in company with professionals. It appears preliminary that um, uh, it's a building that was not designed to carry this kind of roof. It appears the steel stanchions were introduced as a later thought. Uh, that is what we could see. We could see that there are openings in walls and then uh, foundation columns introduced later. That is what I'm seeing for now. Commenting on the incident, Penway State Police Public Relations Officer Sewese Anene said the cause of the incident is unknown. One person was uh, trapped in the building. He was rescued but eventually died in the hospital. Investigation uh, has commenced into uh, the cause of that collapse. And whatever comes out of that investigation will determine the next step of the command. Governor Alia has also visited the scene of the collapsed church and expressed disappointment with the state of the structure. He also read the riot act. I yeah, give my condolences on behalf of the good people of the state to the pastor uh, that met his death uh, in this kind of a structure. Uh, so many things virtually by even a lay person would know that are not right. That someone must bear the responsibility. So we have to, to locate wherever the leadership of uh, this congregation is and then just to inform them that this is the order because we need to save lives. Meanwhile, the senior pastor of Dunamis International Church, Dr. Paul Enenche, has visited the scene of the collapsed church building. It is a very, very uh, saddening situation. Um, above all, everything that we have seen is the loss of a very, very precious life. Very, very dedicated servant of the Lord. Ikmamusa Ugiagbe, ITV News.